Welcome to the first edition of In Touch. I'm Jim Mason and we're about to take a look at the latest news from the world of Scottish rugby. The Guinness Pro 12 got underway last weekend and Chris Patterson was on hand to discuss how both Edinburgh and Glasgow fared. That's a great start, isn't it? Brilliant start. Two tough games. Edinburgh winning away in Tolman, I think, for the second time only. Uh, everyone knows how difficult it is to win there, but Edinburgh were impressive. Um, and, and not to be too greedy, but I think they'll be kicking themselves that they didn't win more comfortably. They were, they were that much better than Munster, but um, tough nut to crack Munster. Uh, but Edinburgh looked difficult to beat as well. Physically very strong, good in defence, um, and scored a lot of try as well. So it's a good start for, for Edinburgh. Uh, and Glasgow started with a home win um, against Leinster, which last year's champions, as we all know, uh, are scintillating sort of first 30 40 minutes from Glasgow. And there's pressures on both sides to win your, your open game. Different pressure on, on Edinburgh than there was in Glasgow, but both teams stood up, delivered. And, um, you mentioned it was a start uh, just there in the question, and that's exactly what it is it's a start. And they want to push on and, um, and underline those results with good results this weekend coming. These games are, are, are decided in fine, fine margins, and a fine margin either way can, can have a, a big impact on the results. So I think at half time, you know, Glasgow would have. You know, supporters would have expected or, or certainly wanted a bonus point victory, but with two minutes to go when they were chasing the game still behind, you, you take the win. Of course, you take the win against such quality opposition. And Edinburgh, they just um, they started so well uh, and, and could have finished off like, two opportunities in the first 20 minutes that would, that would uh, you know, put the gloss on the performance. But let's not talk down two wins against top top opposition in the opening weekend of the, uh, the Guinness Pro 12. Chris there on a great opening weekend for Edinburgh and Glasgow. Now on to domestic business and Jamie McMillan reports on week two of the BT Premiership. A full card in the BT Premiership this weekend and we start our look back at Rayburn Place and the all Edinburgh clash between Edinburgh Ackies and Borough Muir. Both teams were looking for their first win of the new season. On the opening day of the season, Bunnamoor had lost to Stirling County, while Lackeys went down 27-14 at the Green Yards. On the day, it was the Megatland side who proved the stronger. They never let Ackeys settle and made a better job of looking after the ball. By no scoring this one, Edinburgh Ackeys 15, Bunnamoor 33. Our next match saw Gala put the disappointment of an opening day loss to air behind them as they scored 60 against Curry at Netherdale. That result puts Gala third on the table on seven points. Final score, Gala 60, Curry 22. As for Ayr, they made it two wins out of two with a narrow 20 points to 18 win over Glasgow Hawks. Ayr sits second in the table on eight points. It's Stirling County though who are top of the table. They started the season off with a 25-18 win over Borough Muir, and they followed that on Saturday, the 23-16 win over last season's champions Melrose. And in the final game of the weekend, Heriots made the trip to Hoyk and came away with a win. The Golden Acre side notched up this fine try in a 16-12 win. We'll have more highlights from the BT Premiership in our next edition of In Touch in two weeks' time. Now a story about one of our up-and-coming referees. We sat down with Tapa Henning, Scottish Rugby's Referee Commissioner, and Lloyd Linton, who will be officiating at the Rugby Championship in America. 
joined now by Tapa Henning, Scottish Rugby's Referee Commissioner. Tapa, some exciting news in terms of mm. appointment for Scottish referees across the North Atlantic. Can you tell us more? Yeah, some, some good news for us. Um, early in the year, um, Lloyd Linton has been appointed to go to the um, America's Rugby Championship uh, in October as a, as a referee to go and officiate in the tournament there, um, which is a very nice opportunity for one of our young upcoming referees. Um, really excited about that opportunity. It's an IRB appointment, uh, which shows that the IRB is taking note of what's happening in Scottish refereeing, uh, which is good for us. Um, his appointment really excites us for the future. Uh, Lloyd has just recently joined us as a contracted referee after he uh, finished his medical studies as a medical doctor, successfully I may say. And we are very privileged to have him on board um, as a talented referee for the future. And that is what Scottish refereeing is about, uh, investing in the future and uh, see if we can regain the status as a Scottish nation and rugby nation with test, um, test match, tier one match officials. Lloyd, uh, congratulations on the appointment. Uh, tell us your reaction. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was very, very excited. Um, I got the appointment towards the end of last week. I was actually in a, a gym session with the lads, and uh, when I came out, I was sweating. And I got the phone, and it was uh, about five missed calls from Dave Pearson, a few from Tapa. Get in touch with Dave, get in touch with Dave. So I rang Dave. I was like, What's going on, Dave? And he said, Oh, Lloyd, we'll have a, an appointment for you if you'd be interested. I said, yeah. Uh, he said, so the America's Championship out in Vancouver in October, and I was like, yeah, I'm there. That's all I needed to know. I didn't know who would need to know who was playing or whatever. Um, but then he, he talked me through it, and yeah, it's brilliant. Really exciting time. How long have you been refereeing? So this is my sixth season. You know, um, it's my first season in Edinburgh. Um, I've refereed four seasons out of Aberdeen. Um, which was great. It was a lot of travel and a lot of time in the car down towards the central belt and borders. Um, and I refereed one season and also before that, just starting off and doing beginner courses. So to combine the passion for the for the game and refereeing with your studies, I mean, you, you were in, at Aberdeen University studying medicine. Yes. Um, and anybody who's studied medicine in terms of the amount of time that you have to spend on your studies would be kind of saying, how, how on earth have you managed to balance the two? It's really good because um, they're different, but they're similar in a lot of ways. You know, you've, you're dealing with high-pressure situations in yeah. both both lines of work, um, but at the same time, they both give me a release from each other. So when I went into the hospital on a, on a Monday morning, I was able to separate myself from the rugby and just focus on the medicine. And at the weekend, I was able to get away from the hospital and out towards the rugby. And, um, but it was very busy, a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice of time. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way and I like to keep myself busy and, and active. That's all for this edition of In Touch. We'll be back in two weeks' time. But before we go, here's a sneak preview of the new Scotland Sevens kit.